I'm Melissa Melton reporting for InfoWars Nightly News. We're here at a Whole Foods grocery store where we're trying to find out if people know about genetically modified food, about the dangers of that, and if they realize that Whole Foods is actually selling unlabeled genetically modified foods here at the store. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? You know, I don't have time. Oh, okay. I don't really even know what GMO is, to be honest with you. Have you ever heard of genetically modified food? Not much. GMO, have you heard of that? I've heard of that regarding corn. Have you heard of GMO? Absolutely. Are you concerned about it? Absolutely. Do you support the labeling initiative? Absolutely. Would you be surprised if I told you that Whole Foods is selling unlabeled genetically modified organisms? Yes. Aaron Dykes here for InfoWars.com. We're here to talk to members of the public today to find out if they're aware of GMO dangers and if they know what's inside this Whole Foods store. We have their latest press release, which admits that they do sell ingredients that include genetically modified foods. Have you heard about the recent study where they fed GM corn to rats and they developed tumors? Yes, I have. Are you shopping here partly to avoid genetically modified foods? Yes. Yes. I haven't had a problem with genetically modified foods, and uh, no, that wouldn't be why I was coming to Whole Foods. So now, do they sell it or they don't sell it? This Whole Foods truck says, what's cooking? And unfortunately, to the dismay of most people, according to this press release they just put out, it's GMO, genetically modified organisms. Do you know what you're eating? Were you aware that Whole Foods actually sells unlabeled GMOs? I was not. And we're surprised about that? I think a lot of people probably are. Are you familiar with genetically modified food? Well, I've heard of it. <laughs> have you heard they've done studies recently that have shown that rats that are fed exclusive diets of genetically modified food actually get cancer, get tumors? Uh, that makes sense. You go messing around with nature, some weird things are going to happen. That's probably just the beginning of it. Probably. Do you ever shop at Whole Foods? Uh, you mean Whole Paycheck? Do you ever shop at Whole Foods here? Yeah, I work there. Are you familiar uh, that Whole Foods put out a press release saying there's genetically modified organisms being sold in the store? No, I wasn't aware of that. While talking to the public, we were unknowingly approached by Whole Foods media relations spokesperson, Libba Letton. And as an employee of Whole Foods, do you find it concerning that Whole Foods has admitted in their press release that they're selling unlabeled genetically modified organisms? No, I think that um, unless a store is all organic, every store in the country sells um, sells unlabeled genetically modified. Well, do you think that it's fair to say that most people who come here come in search of organic whole foods and they think that what they're buying is probably not genetically modified and so to have unlabeled GMO is kind of against that whole advertisement? I don't, you know, I don't know what people think. Um, I think they come here for organic food. I think they come here for healthy food. And again, I think the issue of people not knowing um, how pervasive GMOs are um, is a problem. Uh, but I don't think that Whole Foods does anything to try and make people think that we don't have food with GMOs in them. You don't? You see behind me they have the slogan on this new store location, nothing artificial ever. However, that's not the case, which is why we also have to now put the spotlight on Whole Foods. Now I think we're very clear about marking which foods are non-GMO. Only later did we discover in research that Libba also represented Whole Foods investor relations and food safety. 90% of the corn and canola and cotton seed and soy in this country is actually genetically modified through companies like Monsanto and DuPont. And the derivatives of that are put into the food. And Whole Foods, you know, they market themselves as a whole food organization, and yet a lot of the stuff in here has unlabeled genetically modified. So... So where would you get the food that's, where would you buy the food that's not genetically organic? Well, that's the question. Would it be surprising to you to find out that Whole Foods also sells GMOs? You know, I'm aware of that. If I have the facts and if they're labeled, then that's fair, I'm educated. If they're not labeled, then I'm concerned. GMOs are one of the banes of our society right now, of our globe. Well, I'm not really opposed to it. I mean, I think that most genetically modified food out there is actually safe and tested. A lot of it's going under FDA review. Um, as long as the science is sound, I'm okay with it. What does the FDA say about this? Well, the FDA is kind of hard to gauge because Obama put uh, Michael Taylor in, who was actually a Monsanto lobbyist for years and years, and now he's the food safety czar. So. Well, that's, oh well, that's, isn't that politics as usual, huh? If it is linked to cancer, I'd certainly like to know about it and stay away from it. Uh, we don't know it would genetically modified unless we test it. 
Is there any plans to maybe do some testing? To test every product in the store and see if there's GMOs in them? Yeah. Wouldn't it be easier to try and get a, some sort of federal requirement that all foods with GMOs have a label on them? Here we go. Are you rolling? Hi. Yep, we're just asking people what they think about genetically modified organisms and Proposition 37. And okay, just make sure we're three feet from the curb at all times. Okay. okay. We're on the public sidewalk here, aren't we? Uh, three feet from the curb is public sidewalk. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Pretty sure I am three feet from the curb. Am I not? Do you have a ruler? Actually, I can go get one if I need to. I think they're standing over there having a little meeting about how they would really like to kick us off this public sidewalk that we have a First Amendment right to be on right now. And they can stand there all day with their badge and the little walkie-talkie and make as many phone calls as they want, but legally we have every right to be here. Just like I think as consumers we have every right to know whether or not we're eating genetically modified Frankenfood science projects when we feed ourselves and our children and when we go to a store that labels themselves as organic but then turns around and sells us GMO. Talk to them, but you can't just be out in front of the store. Well, can we talk to those people? people? Yeah, let's call them. Okay. The well, and maybe what I should do is call the shopping center. Okay. It's really up to them. I mean, this is their private space. This is not a public space. This is this is a private property owned by the shopping center. But not by Whole Foods. No, not this one, no. We're just concerned to find out they also sell GMOs, so. Um, actually, GMOs are in almost everything. Like, it would be really hard to find completely non-GMO anything. Uh -huh. And so, I mean, I, I don't think there's ever been, like, we've never claimed that we don't sell GMOs. There's a truck from Whole Foods coming this way, and it actually says 100% real ingredients. I just think that's really ironic because I don't think genetically modified and real are synonymous in any possible way. I mean, a unicorn pegasus is real because I wrote about it in a book, but is it real? Something I created in a lab? It's a genetically modified Frankenfood science experiment. That's not real, and it's not food, at least it shouldn't be. Whole Foods was like one of the last large bastions of organic food, whole food, safe food. And that's why I think most consumers shop here. And then to quietly admit in a press release that isn't posted anywhere in the store, you have to go and search for it on their website to get it, that, oh yes, our food does contain genetically modified organisms, is just hypocritical to the nth degree, and it's dishonest and it's wrong. Do you think that maybe Whole Foods might consider supporting Proposition 37 financially? We support Proposition uh, 37 in a number of ways. Um, you know, you can look at it that Whole Foods hasn't written a check to that yet. Well, are you familiar with the fact that some of the higher-ups in Whole Foods have written a check to Christy Vilsack, Tom Vilsack's wife, who's the head of the USDA that's pretty much in bed with Monsanto? Out of their personal bank accounts and not on behalf of Whole Foods Market, they can do whatever. It's listed as Whole Foods Market, though. Whole Foods Market to, well, I'm not aware of any of those. I'm not He's also financially bankrolling Obama, who put, you know, Michael Taylor, who's a FDA food safety czar, and that guy's been a Monsanto lobbyist for years. What about the donations to Gary Johnson? I don't think it's like tit for tat, one good donation, one evil donation. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Only the bad ones matter. It just It sends the wrong message, don't you think? No, I think our actions send the message. I think private donations made by executives sends messages from them personally about what they're doing. So what's all the fuss about Whole Foods and GMO? Well, it seems the big wigs over there got pretty chummy with the USDA when they were hammering out the deal over Monsanto's deregulation of GE alfalfa. Now, Walter Robb from Whole Foods is donating to Christy Vilsack, the wife of Tom Vilsack, who heads the USDA department. Tom Vilsack bent over backwards for cloning, pushed GMOs into the mainstream, opened all the doors for Big Agra, and even stood up for the open-air experimentation of GMOs that had biopharmaceuticals blowing in the wind. Then, Obama appointed Tom Vilsack to be Secretary of Agriculture so he could help fast-track GMOs big time. Now Tom Vilsack's wife, Christy, is running for Congress there. But don't worry, her opponent, Steve King, is also bought out by Big Agra and the biotech industry. The only question is, why would Walter Robb or any organic industry executive want to cut checks to the wife of someone who's fought Monsanto's fight every step of the way and done nothing but deceive the organic industry about regulating GMOs? Well, what's really kind of troubling about Whole Foods also is that while they won't back Proposition 37 financially, 
some of their higher ups have financially backed and, do and donated to the political campaigns of people like Obama, who put in Michael Taylor as our food safety czar, who was a Monsanto lobbyist for years. He's now the FDA food safety czar. You've got them financially backing Tom Vilsack's wife, and he's the USDA Secretary of Agriculture, who's totally in bed with Monsanto. So it's like, you won't give money to Proposition 37, but some of your higher ups are personally giving money to people they should be 100% against. So I completely agree with that. I mean, they're all corrupt. It's disappointing. <laughs> they're really big business and they're getting bigger all the time. And Mackey has a pretty good history of um, not straight dealing, so. Mr. Mackey, I would tell him to go straight to, go straight south. As we try to protect ourselves through organic food and avoid GMOs, are we making Whole Foods a sacred cow, hoping they're an ally for our cause of eating natural, wholesome organic foods when in fact their leadership has sold out to the USDA, has met at the table with Monsanto, and has compromised with them, and in fact stocked GMOs on their shelf. The science is in. The recent GMO study on rats serves as a stark reminder that what we don't know can hurt us. And duping an already uninformed public is just plain dangerous and evil. While we agree that labeling non-GMO is a start, it simply does not follow that Whole Foods knowingly selling GMO products without at least warning the public, not just with some quiet press release, but with actual signage on store shelves, is wrong. Waiting for bought and paid for politicians to fix the problem is nothing short of leaving customers to fend for themselves against a clear and present danger while raking in the profits. For InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Melissa Melton. And I'm Aaron Dykes.